So uh, this is uh, the surfer uh, uh, session. So uh, we are going to see how to create a contour map and uh, a 3D map in a surfer. So this is a file where you can open, save a file and import and export uh, uh, data. And this is uh, the editor. Uh, you can view your, your data or plot in any way you want. Uh, this is where you, we, you can, if, you, if you want to add uh, some um, shapes in, in your uh, map, you can add them. This is where you create a grid and this is where you create your map. This is uh, the way you customize the, the viewer of your tools. So these are the worksheets and this, you work in the same way that, uh, that, that you have in Excel. So if you open, this is the Excel worksheet. So uh, if you have a data, Excel data, for example, this is uh, the surveying data collected from uh, California. Okay. So um, here we have our data. This is um, the easting, and this is the northing, and this is the elevation data. So you can give that uh, name. Okay, easting. this file yeah, 60, 65 I'm just copy this file into the the, um, the surface spreadsheet you can select this and uh, control plus V so this is your data okay. this is your data and now um, you have to save this file so to save this you can say save the bus and uh, you can save it anywhere you like create new folder um, surfer like that and then the file as a cool for file and this is uh, the, the uh, VLN is the extension in which the, the, the surfer saves this file then this implies that uh, you lose your formatting after, after you proceed uh, with this one so we created our data and if you want to uh, plot a contour map, you have to go back to the plot uh, area from the, the spreadsheet. This is spreadsheet reason. So you have to go to the plot in order to um, plot your map because when you are here, the, the, the plotting uh, uh, functions are inactive. Uh, they are only active when you go to the plot, uh, plot tab. So first of all, uh, you have to create a grid data. So in any, any ways, uh, when you create a contour, uh, from existing data, uh, it will create uh, the, the, the grid data, and from the grid data, you can create your contour map. So, this is uh, uh, we can create a contour map grid from this data, uh, then uh, you, you can go to data. I'm sorry, you can have to go to the, the plots and the grids, grid data, then you have to input the data and uh, uh, upset the data as in D. The, the, uh, the, the from this data so column x is uh, column a it represents this thing y is column b it represents the smoothing and that is column c it represents the elevation so uh, this are the method of grading so while grading uh, the, the program will be interpolations between points and it creates additional points so you can use uh, one of the meters and uh, the most most widely used types are the nearest neighbor Approach. So let's use creating in this case, and this is a cursor graded data. And the, this file will also show you the minimum and the maximum uh, uh, the, the uh, x values, and the minimum and the maximum y values. And that will show you the spacing between the grids it is going to create is 1.5, and uh, the spacing the, the number of lines. And uh, in this case, so. You can change these values, you really can do it. So let's use that as it is and then create a grid. So once it creates a grid, uh, this is a report. Okay. So you can you can either save this report or you can, you can avoid them. So this is uh, the the, uh, the the way uh, the program has created uh, the, uh, the 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 uh, the gridded data. And then uh, now uh, by using this gridded data, we can do our maps. 
so uh, if you want you can go to map and say new and go to map that's one way of creating them so you have to input the grid data into your system and within a blink this is your, your contour map or you can directly develop your contour map from here and uh, usually we would like to have a field contour map so you can uh, have it here and the field contour smooth is a high amount and then um, if you say apply it will fill with any color tags and if you want to change the, the color uh, you can go to label and uh, fill and then you can, you can choose uh, the pattern pattern or fill maybe you can choose this one say ok ok then if you say apply so this is the fill ok you can do it like this the filling filling contour or uh, if I don't want to do it uh, like this or if I want to fill it with the color of my interest uh, I have to I have to fill it by myself so which means this is a fill I can change these uh, colors uh, one, by, one by myself like this I can change uh, these colors um, by myself the colors to be filled okay. like this I can add them or I can change the, the colors, uh, but the, the important way is uh, to use uh, recognized feeling patterns. Like this one, uh, you can use a graphic color, okay. say OK, and uh, apply. Okay, and uh, sorry. This one, uh, you can have your color bar on the riser side, so you can say OK. So, this is how you develop your contour. If you want, you can maximize this. So, the colors, this, this one to the sides, and then you can create uh, the color to go to more like this. In, uh, this is for elevation, you can do this for precipitation, for evaporation for temperature whatever it the uh, certain dimension data you have so this is one way of doing uh, mapping and uh, this is again still created data from this grid data you can create a um, map uh, which is a uh, 3d map so 3d uh, wire mesh so this will definitely show the, the uh, river system so in the mesh form view these also in a solid form okay. 3D surface we have to use the same data so this will explain this is the y axis this is the, the x axis and this is the z you can view uh, your, your 3D this way you can plot the bottom uh, if you want so 3D surface show base if you say that it will cover the base and uh, you can change the color to anything you want to be done like this so this is a 3d uh, map this is, a, this is how we can create 3d map in, uh, in, in, uh, in, 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 in the surfer and then at the same time we can add another graphs over here like uh, like creating um, creating the, the uh, uh, one uh, the vector, directional vector it's from the grids will show uh, the direction of flows usually and uh, this is how it can be done at the same time um, if we want to add the pointers from which this data has been created so you can use this one and, uh, and add them so,
data from which you created this way okay and then that is what we can do in a global map and we can uh, create a 3d file we can create uh, the contour map colored contour map and uh, you can do anything uh, if, if you have a sub dimension data okay this is all